Good afternoon, everyone. Midwinter coming back to Japan and Asia, Chiba, record cold and snow. Also, U.S. Great Lakes, 18 inches of snow over the last few days. Rocky Mountains, heavy pounding again, up around 18 inches. New England states. And as we start to see the progression of these late spring snows and freezes, we're going to have to move our fish farming indoor. The oceans are in trouble anyway. So the new tech we're going to be switching over to will be something like this recirculating aquaculture system. Coming off a grand maximum in solar activity. And as we descend into a grand solar minimum, you would look for intensifying earthquakes in areas that you never see earthquakes. Botswana, strongest earthquake in Botswana's history. And that would include the area all the way down to South Africa. 6.8 originally, but downgraded to 6.5. German skies electrified. India, purple plasma in the nighttime heavens. Saudi Arabia looking more like winter wonderland. Ice jams on the rivers in Manitoba causing massive flooding. New study confirms the sun dominates the Earth's climate. Four major European institutes all coming out saying that this grand solar minimum will lower Earth's temperatures by at least half a degree Celsius. And that's going to mean there will be no increased thermometer readings until 2100 because our Earth actually follows a 60-year Pacific decadal oscillation. Add into this volcanoes erupting during the grand solar minimums, lots of ash in the air at the moment, record amounts of snow from blizzards across eastern Canada, Nova Scotia ferries stuck in ice, Greenland still continuing record ice growth, all contrary to what the IPCC has told us. This is truly climate science meeting the insane asylum. Arizona scientists devised 500 billion US dollar plan to refreeze the Arctic polar cap. Yes, that's half a trillion US dollars. Bad timing. 400 plus icebergs invade the North Atlantic shipping lanes, driving traffic 650 kilometers south to avoid the icebergs. All the while, passenger ferries stuck in the ice in Nova Scotia and record snowfall across Anchorage plus Greenland, continuing record ice growth. Heinrich Spensmark, Galactic Cosmic Rays, responsible for increasing cloud formation. So as his research has pinpointed, low solar activity creates more clouds on our planet. So we would start to look for clues like Caribou, Maine, 116 days with at least over a foot of snow. California snow water equivalent off the charts. Record drought to no more drought in a matter of one year. 205% average of the snowpack. Seattle, Tacoma, Washington, wettest February in 120 years. Medford, highest recorded snowfall. That's since 1919. 600 chickens massacred in the Sagaing hailstorm in Myanmar, middle of the dry season. Heaviest snow in 30 years in Gulf in Xinjiang in China. These events definitely pinpoint to Spensmark's work being correct. 